Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode two of Talking Thrills. This episode is going to be like a lot more um, structured uh, because our last one was just like us rambling forever. And uh, today on the show, we have the same people as last time. We have me, Jaden, and then we also have Anthony. Hi. And, uh, Zach. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Uh, okay, so first topic our, of our first topic of the show is some uh, stuff that none of us are really interested in. I, I don't think, but uh, concerts. Uh, there are uh, Great Adventure announced a very controversial uh, concert. Um, Jacob Santoris mm. will be. <laughs> Jacob sure. will be performing at uh, Six Flags Great Adventure on july 17th so now i know what day i'm not going to great adventure um and darian lake just announced her concert lineup um and they actually have a huge concert lineup for for the small park that is darian lake a lot of people who are uh who i mean this this lineup is basically on the same caliber as like universal mardi gras or sea world i mean some yeah of the, it's, it's pretty insane um, you have Future on Future, Chance the Rapper, Jason Aldean, Florida Georgia Line, Train, Zach Brown Band, Third Eye Blind, Nickelback, Chris Stapleton, Chicago and the Doobie Brothers, Foreigner and Cheap, Cri Cheap Trick, Kids Bop, One Republic, Brantley Gilbert, Kings of Leon, D DX Bl Bentley, Lady Antebellum, The Go Go Dolls, Luke Bryan, Green Day, and John Mayer. That's a huge lineup for Darien Lake. And some of these are actually on days where the park's not even open, it says. Oh, really? What? It's just it's just concerts, not even like a park? Yeah, I I honestly can't believe that they have this lineup. Um, that's, yeah, I didn't, like, that's, like, bigger than, like, any park I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> that That's bigger than, like, Epcot Food and Wine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, that's a huge, huge lineup for a park like that. So, um, anyway, because none of us, I mean, I don't know about any of you guys, but I don't really care about any of those things. I mean, that... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a, a comment about the Jacob Satorius concert at Great Adventure. Okay. Since it's going to be in Plymouth Rock Stadium, which is right next to Bizarro, I'm in uh, this group on Facebook where uh, so, uh, somebody commented on the, the announcement of Jacob Satorius asking uh, Ryan Chin, the El Toro operator, to uh, work Bizarro that day so they could uh, shoot like as many trains out as possible and drown out Jacob's sound. I'm, yeah, I'm okay with that. You showed me yeah. that. It's so funny. Yeah, it's, it's great. Like, And Ryan was just like, nah, I'm not going to be working Bizarro next season, but uh, we're going to have a we're gonna have a good operating team over there. I'm like, okay, thank God, because Bizarro's operators in the past were absolutely terrible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been like, for a couple I, years. Yeah, triple stacking. Um, so the next topic is Bush Gardens, uh, Bush Gardens, uh, Bush, <laughs> Bush Gardens, Williamsburg in 2018. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it, yeah. it's not, obviously it doesn't be like a coast or anything, but, I, and I know that they I don't want to like, re I know that they don't want to like repeat Tempest or anything, but, I can't. I mean, this is this is a long, far out tease. This is yeah. I mean, even for Invader, I thought that was a really long tease, but it's fine. Um, you know, I mean, I, I feel like this isn't going to be anything that big. So why are they? Be, why are they? Really large flat ride. Yeah, it's going to be a flat ride, yeah, and then a, a couple of food places they're going to announce probably. It's going to be to be teasing an announcement for uh, like as a joke. They just like they're they're just sitting there. It's like just kidding, guys. We're not announcing every anything that's going to tease you. And then it's going to be RMC Wazi. So, what do you think about the flat? What kind of flat ride do you think it's going to be? Well, I mean, the only flat ride they really have is. Mock right. Tower? Yeah, that's about it. Um, well, the only, the, thrilling, anything, really. the only thrilling flat ride. Yeah. 
It could be literally anything. They're lacking yeah. in a lot of places. You can't really predict it because there's so many options you can. You can't really. Yeah, well, exactly. It's definitely harder to predict. Like, Unless, yeah, ex- especially with a park like Busch Gardens Williamsburg, where there aren't really any other parks that operate like Busch Gardens Williamsburg. I mean, it's, easy to predict, it's easier to predict something like a um, like Great Adventures getting a giant discovery. Yeah, in 2018 that's true. Because Six Flags is obviously buying those, and Great Adventure just seems logical for the next park that would get one. But now, no other park question. operates like Busch Gardens Williamsburg. Has SeaWorld or Busch Gardens Tampa gotten any like flat rides recently? Falcon's Fury, but Busch Gardens Williamsburg doesn't buy yeah. from Intamin. Yeah. So yeah, they didn't. yeah. I, I don't know. They already they are still and they already have a drop yeah, down, so there'd be no point. Getting, yeah. Well, Canopy. Um, they also announced that like nor'easter. They announced the um new flat ride. They didn't announce it, but they they teased for it. Oh, really? They're getting something next year? Yeah, uh, I guess not gonna be anything that good though. What was the tease? It was like something that goes in circles and close to the ground, something like that. It was terrible. Park, yeah. That park's a really nice park. Yeah. Nice. Really um, so anyway, our, speaking of great uh, nor'easter, our big topic is that event, all the news from uh, Six Flags New England that was announced from that event. So let's just go through everything they announced. Um, oh, yes. Some great stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um, so new benches. So, okay. So we've all oh, been yes. to that park, right? We've all been to the park. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So they're comp- they're really uh, redoing their front entrance area. New um, benches, new trash oh, cans, yes. renovating Monsoon Lagoon at Hurricane like- Harbor. Um, ride information center at the main entrance. Um, so I think all oh, that's good. That's all positive. Um, mm-hmm. It's already a pretty nice in terms of looks uh, Six Flags Park. So. Yeah, it's, it's one of my one of my favorite parks I've been to actually. I like I'm not gonna say I like the rides better than Great Adventure, but I like the overall atmosphere. Yeah, I, I definitely say the same. Like the Six Flags parks that I've been to, it's definitely the nicest one. Um, it's very clean, but in terms of rides, it's not. But um, in terms of everything else, it is. Yeah, like um, I I remember when I went there. Uh, the food was like I went to Primos up there, and it was indoor, and it was like a sit-down restaurant, which was really nice compared to the ones we have, which are outdoor, and yeah. it's just kind of like you grab your food and go. While that one, and also I, I found the pizza to be better. Yeah, I like, agree. Yeah, I had the it. food is better there. Yeah, the food um, is a lot better there. I don't like their matcha nacho though. Also, I didn't go to their matcha nacho. It wasn't. It wasn't good. <laughs> I didn't go to their matcha chicken tenders are a lot better. I got like some sandwich at some place and it was pretty good. It was decent. Uh, there, my friend and I had a bet because he was there before, and he said that if if you find a piece of trash on the ground that you didn't find that you didn't put on the ground, I will give you a tag of trash because that's how clean the park was. Yeah, it's, it's like yeah. for a chain park like that. So yeah. uh, some flash pass changes for that park. Superman, Wicked Cycle, and Fireball are now on basic flash pass. And I don't know, I never bought flash pass there before, so I didn't know. And Joker will be yeah. platinum only. So do you guys know if at uh, Great Adventure Joker was platinum only? It was. Uh, I think it was, yeah. I think it was yeah. gold up, I think. I thought it was gold up. I think it was platinum. Uh, uh. Yeah. Um, so... And, and- you could ask for Joker on um, it was, uh, uh, you know, from uh, was it John Fitzgerald? Like the only way you can get an exit pass for Joker was if it was from John Fitzgerald. It was platinum flash pass. Um, I remember at what is it? Yeah, well, most. I mean, this is pretty normal for the new ride to be a platinum and the uh, other newer yeah. rides to go down. I mean, Discovery Kingdom. Mm-hmm. Uh, does that great adventure does that new england did that with goliath it's pretty normal um so they officially announced there's gonna be no vr uh superman and the uh they're changing the superman station layout so there will be a front row line but uh they did not say there was they said there was actually going to be no back only line but there's gonna be a front row exclusive line 
I'm all for that. I personally didn't have a problem with uh, the like going because first time I read it was in the front row and it was like a five minute wait. Like there was there was I don't think there's no re- I don't think there's really a reason for a a front row only. Front I line. think there is because that station has a lot of empty space. Um, at least you know what? last year. You're right. Yeah. So and now they're not using that space for VR. Then might as well. Yeah. yeah. That means there'll never be VR in it again. Good. Uh, <laughs> hopefully, that was. I don't think that was, that was probably like the least successful VR coaster. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, apparently, uh, was apparently there was a change uh, to uh, Mind Eraser being on Platinum Flashback yeah. now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Of, yeah. Was that official? Yeah, it's official. Yeah, that, it's on that, the... that is official. It's on Six Flags New England's website, I'm pretty sure. Or at least I, it used to be. Because I saw I was on New England's website and it said doing uh, oh, was Mind Eraser. Right now. Looking right now. Yeah. So I can only assume because, I mean, they have VR on Kong, so. Like I can kind of see Pong, VR. Pong's not, Pong's not platinum only. Really? Yeah, they have no. a reservation system there. It's uh, awesome. I, I, I love I, that. When I went, Kong was well, still. What I'm saying is, Kong like, they have VR probably do it on Mind Eraser. I haven't. Yeah. Uh, when I was there, Kong wasn't doing VR, but. Um, oh, really? Uh, what was it? Joker was on gold and platinum only, and Superman was on platinum only. I know, because I. Uh, platinum. Oh, you got it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> good job. It was, it was holiday in the park. It was forty five dollars, you know, whatever. But yeah, good deal. Oh, yeah. But yeah, the uh, Rage of Gargoyles on Kong that had like a reservation system. It worked really well until like three forty five. Then the line started to pick up. But wait, was um, Skull Mountain wasn't on? Skull, Skull Mountain was not on reservation. It was just wait in line. No, I know, but was yeah. it? I know it was that, but it wasn't on any different kind of flash pass. No. Okay, so it says right here. Um, let me show everybody. Um, here's the flash pass lineup for Six Flags New England. Joker yeah. is gold, platinum only, and Mind Eraser is platinum only. So um, I can only assume that means VR. Yeah, and they did. I agree. So at at Nor'easter, they did say. I'm skipping ahead a little bit. Um, Mind Eraser 20 year celebration, whatever that means, is happening. Yeah. yeah. They um, wait. Is that like an actual thing? Like somebody? They actually said there was a slide that said Mind Eraser <laughs> um, 20 year celebration. That you need to celebrate <laughs> 20 years in the SLC. Um, but. Uh, oh. Um. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe they're like doing a couple, maybe like because they tried it out on uh like they tried refurbishing uh, Ninja and now it's Blue Hawk, so you know they gave it a repaint and they, they obviously have that relationship with Vacoma now. Yeah, they obviously have some sort of relationship with Vacoma where they can uh you know refurbish old uh, Vacoma rides or possibly even Arrow coasters depending if they do we the Six Flags even have any Arrow loopers besides Viper? Uh. Ninja. Ninja, yeah. That's it's actually a Vacoma. Well, it was started by Arrow, finished by Vacoma. Yeah. Oh, um, Runs also, what is it? Um, Steam and Demon. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if that's worth it, though, honestly. So, yeah, uh, honestly, they also Steam have, Demon. Uh, no, never mind, that's Vacoma. Uh, I can't pronounce the name, but I've been on it. Uh, Super Men- Mengi. Oh, yeah. 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 At, what, what, at Laurent. <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh, ugh. <laughs> uh, Vacoma coasters are nasty. Well, what else do they have? I know there's another one I just thought of. They have Ninja. Um, oh, uh, what is it? The one in Great America, Demon. Yeah, Demon. Yeah, so they could possibly refurb Demon. But yeah, I could totally see like a new, like a repaint, and maybe some track work done, and. Possibly even new trains. Like I could totally see it. And I've heard even rumors about it. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so Six Flags New England is uh, to accommodate Joker. They're moving back their water park entrance, and uh, they're putting in a full, actually, queue house for um, the Joker. So, you yeah, know, on really our nice. Joker, we have um, a little shaded area, but then we all, that, that's only really used for overflow. Um, but this is actually a themed 
Q House seemed to ace chemicals. I don't know if that's they made a big deal about that at Norwester. That's kind of stupid. Joker's overpolish stated, but the main thing is not. I'm not excited about that at all. Yeah, yeah. like I hate. Wait, I might write it, but um, I'm gonna I'll probably end up writing it anyway. But I'm gonna Yeah, um, true. So they their opening day is now a week early. On April first, instead of April, they they changed 8th? it. They they changed it back to April eighth now. So oh. They changed it. They changed it back again. It's oh, well, never mind. <laughs> um, I already, we already talked about mind eraser. So, um, moving on to our next topic, past nor'easter is race through New York has soft opened at Universal Orlando. Jimmy Fallon race through New York. Um, and if you guys watch any videos of this. Yeah, no, I've, nice. I haven't seen I've like the. I've, I've, I've just I'm I'm not a Jimmy Fallon fan. He's really he's a he's fake, but um, uh, he, it's just like the whole queue setup. It just it, I feel like it's if if it's fine if it's like an hour wait or something, but if it's a five yeah. minute wait, do they make you go through the whole thing? I don't know because I feel it, like you'd just be starving the ride. The actual ride portion. If you made everybody go through the first area and then everybody go through the show area and everybody sees mm-hmm. the same show, like I feel like that just wouldn't be because this ride's it's not gonna like, have that po- much popularity. So it's kind of like the Dark Knight when it's like it's like a five minute wait and they. Make but it's even on a bigger scale than that. It, it's yeah, even, it's even worse. Yeah, I didn't think about Dark Knight, but yeah, it is like that. Yeah, like it and. I hate watching the show for Dark Knight because it's been like six thousand times. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, so like in the days it's like, <laughs> and they just yeah, it's like an overflow. I'm like, thank God. Like, I love when they let you uh, walk into the dark walk walk uh, into the Dark Knight show or uh, like halfway through. That mm-hmm. that makes the ride so much more entertaining. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like I don't like the pre-show. Just that when you see it enough times, it's like. <laughs> it's oh. Yeah. And it also oh, lowers capacity of the ride. Yeah, exactly. So our next topic is... Okay, yeah, this, this is something I brought up. Because uh, it was teased on, I think, the Thrill Source Instagram. Uh, we're doing a Valley Fair invert prediction uh, as the next one on prediction series. And I know this was like a a popular rumor now, and like a lot of people requested it, but I don't think it's an actual rumor. Like it's a thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, maybe I think Coaster Studios brought it up. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I'm pretty sure Taylor started it. Like everything that he says, everybody, and all these, you know, all the nerds, they 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 cling on to that. Yeah. yeah. Right. Especially when he disses my some of my favorite rides. But... <laughs> When, when he says that Magnum is one of the worst coasters at Cedar Point, you know, and then the people who haven't ridden the coaster attack me when I say it's one of the best coasters at Cedar Point. Uh, so. Good. Let's get these on your time. But getting back onto topic here, uh, I'm yeah. pretty sure like, in his Valley Fair like uh, predictions video, he, he said he could see a Valley, a Valley Fair invert happening because it's a good fit for the park and yeah, it's you know now that B they're working with B and M again. Um, and Banshee could be a new one or even relocated. See if they could if, like if I'm relocating any invert. Here's something I just came up with. This is a really wild rumor that I don't think is actually true. I just thought about it. You know how there's all those rumors that Dragon Challenge is closing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what if Cedar Fair bought both of them and sent one to one park and sent one to the other to another park? Send one <laughs> to Michigan's Adventure. Send send one to uh, Michigan's Adventure. Send one to Valley Fair. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be funny. Because Kings, <laughs> Kings Dominion, like Cedar Fair hates Kings Dominion. You know, that's the whole narrative. So, so they, what like, do they send? They don't they don't build them a whole new invert. They don't build them a B and M wing. They send them half of Dragon Challenge. <laughs> it's like, who's more hated by the Cedar Fair chain now? King's Dominion? 
or Michigan Adventure. <laughs> because, you know, that King's Dominion fanboys are just, I mean... Yeah, it's, it's a they, joke. It's like, a, like, they, they, you got a Frisbee. Like, that's they, big, <laughs> pretty exactly. big addition. And Michigan's Adventure got nothing, and Valley Fair got nothing, and... They got a farm. They got a farm. Alaska they got a farm. Uh, Michigan's Adventure got a farm and a little, like, kitty play area. And, like, oh, yeah, even that. Knott's, even Knott's, like, didn't get, hasn't gotten that much. Yeah, really, like, nobody talks about Knott's anymore. Like, it used to be, like, one of the, quote-unquote, big Cedar Fair parks. It's one of the least Cedar Fair Cedar Fair parks. Yeah. It doesn't have that, like, gray, concrete feel. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I haven't yeah. been there, but you know, that's what it seems. It has a lot of bright colors. Mm-hmm. It's like um, it's like Frontier Town at Cedar Point, but the whole park, and and nicer. That's what it's yeah. yeah. Because you can definitely see on even like some of the Cedar Fair parks that used to have character, like Cedar Point, like it's just slowly creeping through that like gray concrete feel. I mean, you have a Cedar Point, you have in the back, you have like Frontier Town and the Gemini Midway, which are like colorful and really nice. And then you have in the front, you have like Bowery and Gatekeeper that are just like, I mean, they're good, but they're just like kind of bland. And I, I kind of agreed to that. Like the whole like new uh, thing, Cedar Fair, front, Cedar Point front entrance is like, it's very, it is very colorless, but it is cool looking. Same with Carolyn's. Yeah, I agree to... Oh my god, Carowinds is even worse. It's like, it's more gray. <laughs> but Knott's is like... Knott's entrance looks like a uh, Spanish building. It's beautiful. You know, it's like... It's really nice looking yeah. from pictures because I haven't been there. <laughs> yeah, I, I hope... Well, I mean, I'm kind of like sort of giving hope to Cedar Fair again with like... Okay, so yeah, they have been focusing on Cedar Point and Kings Island the past few years. But I kind of realized it actually had quite a coaster drought. Uh, I guess Maverick to Maverick to Gatekeeper. That's yeah, Maverick to Gatekeeper five years. Was For a big yeah. park, that's a drought, I guess. Yeah. And, I mean, like, I can... And then Kings Island has kind of just been uh, balanced additions over the past few years. I mean, sort of. Kings Island is... Uh... They've had like stretches. I'm trying yeah. to think if they got anything between like Son of Beast and Diamondback. No, I don't think uh, so. Well, Italian, they had an Italian job. Oh, that's year. true. And they got. I don't think they got anything else. No, oh, that's about it. Not big. Like, they got I mean, like Tomb Raider, but that was like a top yeah. spin in a building. I, I don't see Valley Fair getting the Inver at all, though. It's just so much money. I see them getting it, but it's like I don't, I don't not think so. soon. Not not with. I don't know. I feel like the five Maybe. year plans. So every park they run off of like five year plans. I think right now we're starting to see like when they started making plans after the recession, because you know what I mean. Like parks like Valley Fair, they haven't gotten yeah. anything for the past five years because they made those plans during the recession. Yeah, yeah, and I think that's that's why Kings Dominion because they got Dominator and they got I three hundred five and then they get, they didn't get anything else until like Delirium, which was about five years later, and yeah, I mean Valley Fair so, is getting North Star, and that's that's fairly that's expensive. Good, and that's nice. That that's a good addition, I probably. I honestly think Six Flags it's America. Very minor, very Six Flags America, their edition, like uh, Lasso of Truth, that, that's a really good edition. Yeah, that's I agree. One thing that park yeah. is messing yeah. it out on. They don't really have any tall rides besides Superman. I love the yeah. location, too. Where, where are they going? It's going, like, a couple, like, right next to um, Superman the Ride. Uh, Superman Ride of Steel. Oh, it's all the way back there, yeah. Yeah. It's next to um their well, Penguin's Blizzard River. Mm-hmm. That, that, that park is really a surprising cool. amount of empty space. Yeah, it has so much yeah. empty space. I think it's like 500 acres they have. Mm-hmm. Five over to five. Over I actually really enjoyed that park. Um, yeah, it's, I love. I actually really like pretty it. Pretty clean, and on, I don't see on what, good days. I don't see what people are talking about with the crowds. Um, it's more of um, fright fest. That's when yeah, you get okay, the bad crowds. 
I'll play that. And um, also when the water park lets out, that's when it gets pretty bad. As I well. was there on a uh, water park closed day, so. Oh, yeah, that's probably why. The like, only problem week, I like March. see with uh, Six Flags America is definitely their operations. Yeah. It's not even that bad, though, because it, the operations are bad, but the lines are, like, so short. Yeah, it exactly. Even, like, matter. It doesn't matter, yeah. Like, like they don't need to be rolling out trains. Like Exactly. But, I mean, like, I mean, I don't know if you guys ever seen Taylor's video before. It's uh, How Bad of Six Flags America's Operations. I saw that, yeah. Oh, my... Why? Why were? Why is there seven minute dispatches on? On a bat one. A bat one, yeah. I hate that. So, oh my gosh. Oh, Superman, Superman VR had uh, had like eleven minute dispatches. I, I had fifteen minutes. I had more than eleven on my. They because I went on a ninety like five degree day. It was terrible. Mm. Oh my gosh! All of the VR headsets just keep, kept um, overheating. Cutting off. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. Like I tried it twice. Both times it didn't work, so I just took I just put it on my like forehead. I put the glasses, mm. the VR headsets on, and then I just rode the ride. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I like I wanted to try to see if it would work, but it didn't. Yeah, I I really think like if VR is done right, it's good. Yeah, I agree. Like if like as like Six Flags kind of did it cheaply. Like they did it they did it like mass like. Mass production, pretty much. Like they did it as fast as and like and as quickly as they possibly could. The animations were bad. The uh, if it did, if like it never really worked. Apparently, I never did uh, VR Skull Mountain because like the lot it was either a shut down, uh, or b, uh, the line was way too long. Yeah. Like it wasn't worth it, and uh, Skull uh, like we look at the Europa Park. Uh, the original, the original VR coaster, yeah. uh, which is at the Europa part of it. But when it came to Six Flags, mm -hmm. the animations were very poorly done, and you know, like I said, it just didn't work. And like if I, I've watched the POVs of uh, VR, and like even the sounds are like cheaply made. Yeah. Like for what sound there actually is. It, it was. I mean, I didn't have any sound because mine didn't work, but I heard. Oh. From like other people, it, it seemed okay. I mean, it's not. It, it seemed like, like a Six like, Flags thing. Didn't seem like if you ever like look at an actual video of it, it's like the only Superman VR like sound like in the sound there was. It was like the the Lex bots like making like robotic sounds, and then you can't even hear the sound. What you can't even hear the sound. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I'm gonna actually let's see here if my internet decides you know want to do whatever. You know, wants to actually work. I'm gonna screen share uh, like a little preview of the VF invert. Nice. Okay, so there was actually one other thing that I want to talk about. Um, Six Flags released their annual reports, or yeah, annual reports, and um, they said that um, because Easter is so late this year and all the parks are opening later this year, um, mm -hmm. they're expected to lose 400,000 guests chain wide this year. Um, and, um, oh yeah, also, oh, one other thing, is, a few other things I just thought about, uh, the Six Flags Texas Parks are doing Mardi Gras events this year, or they already did, <laughs> and, um, Six Flags Over Georgia VR on their drop tower. Oh, yeah. That looks good. No, I don't like that. I, I, it, it's a what, what's it about? Spiders? Spiders. I don't like spiders. spiders. That's, that's, I feel like it's stupid. I've heard, I've heard rumors from like a few people that it might be coming to Zimanjaro. I honestly wouldn't be surprised, but I would hate that. But here's the thing, though. Like, it's apparently like I've heard like from my personal friend. Uh, I'm not gonna like release names or release too much information because I don't even know if it's true or not. But apparently, he said it's going to be an upcharge. No. I, yeah. What? Uh, yeah. Like I that. No. I don't know why. Also, but... oh, so I, I was watching the video, the um, drop of doom video that they launched. Uh, I can mm -hmm. play it right here, actually. And um, they did use video from Zoomajaro. Yeah. Well, actually, yeah, I, I, think that. That, I think that was a uh, Lex Luthor, actually. 
No, oh, I, don't or, I don't know, but it was like I think Lex Luger was one of the two. two. Yeah, it's one of the two, and that that just worries me. Did they actually even use any? Um, did they actually even use any footage of arachnophobia in that video? I think I so. Yeah, at the end. Well, here's the thing, though, because I'm pretty sure it's Magic Mountains, because like all the six, like pretty much all of the footage that Six Flags Parks uses is Magic Mountains. Uh, with the maybe. exception of the Joker teasers this year. What do the Joker's teasers use? They use Great Adventure. They use Yeah, they use Great Adventure. I yeah. saw a Joker teaser last year that used a, uh, no, like uh, during the summer, a uh, Joker mm. video that used um, Fiesta Texas's Joker, but it was like they tried to After Effects like color correct, like the track, and it was like all green. And I saw it at a movie theater actually. Yeah, like they 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 try really hard not to make animations. Yeah, I've been seeing that with like a lot of parks lately because. Like even even Kings Island, they use No Limits too for Mystic Timbers. Mm-hmm. But then and, again, uh, I think like Elitch Gar like Six Flags use videos from like Elitch Gardens for yeah, all their yeah. Larson loops. Yeah, exactly. So the Drop Tower VR is going to be called Drop of Doom VR. Yeah, that's why. I don't know. I don't think it's gonna be. I don't think it's terrible, but I don't think it's gonna be an upcharge. I think they would say something about that if it was going to be. Well, no, like if it, like I've heard, like they didn't say it was coming to Great Adventure. They only said it was going to Over Georgia. But I've heard rumors that if it is coming to Great Adventure, it would be an upcharge. Oh, if it's coming to Great Adventures. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. Well, I don't. I don't see that happening though. Why would they bring that to Great Adventure? Bring Zoom and Jaro viewer. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, hey, Zumanjaro would actually get a line for once. Yeah, but it's just... It still gets a line. Well, not really. I haven't seen a I, line I, all this year. I've waited a couple of times. I've never waited for I haven't waited for this this year. I waited for it once, but that wasn't like... Oh, God, that was a that terrible, terrible day. I used um... To- I usually use the single rider line, even though it stinks. So do I. It's not good at all. Really? I don't think so. It's, I think it's pretty good. Because they don't even, like, not. it's not un- unlike Universal. Like, they don't really care about it that much. I think they, I've, I've never had a problem with it. I think Universal does. Oh, it's Universal, that's why, but. Yeah. Actually, Universal single rider lines can move really slow sometimes. Well, I mean, some of them like Green Dots use pretty quickly. Yeah, Green Dots. Is yeah, like single rider line is never. The Disney only single, single rider lines like, are they're a hit and hit or miss. Disney test track is decent. Rock and roller yeah. coaster is really oh, bad. The only way I got on to test track at Disney last time was through the uh, single rider. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Test track it's, is like decent. It's never more than like twenty minutes. But rock and roller coaster is like death. You might as well just wait in the regular. Well, actually, I, I yeah. use I use rock and roller coaster single rider line quite a few times last time. And it was great. It was really bad for me. I ended up waiting like half an hour, and the regular line was like forty minutes. It's the, the only line that I've ever had success with for single rider line is Green Lanterns. I've never even used it. Same. I never use that. It's actually. I've actually had quite a few good experiences with it. The uh, the first the first time I used it, uh, I got put in the back row, and I enjoyed the ride actually. The second time, the back row is great. Yeah, the back row is great on Green Lantern. Like that's the only way I can really ride it anymore. Or the front row. I don't like the front that much. Me either. Even then, the front row is pretty bad. Um, <laughs> but then the second time I used it, I was with my friend, and the line was. Was it was back to where the single rider line was. So my friend and I, we just walked up to it, and we ended up both getting put in the front row. So single nice. rider line is usually, um, it's usually closed. Yeah. Yeah, it, it usually is. It's, it's been closed for the past like season, pretty much. Like every other, every year of the year. Yeah, but has it even gotten a line at all this season? Um, Green Lantern and totally or. 
I mean, have you even seen it with a line this season? Green Lantern? I mean, like, it gets, gets a decent line. I've seen it. I've seen quite a few, like, long lines from Green Lantern. That's I've, why yeah. I usually never go on it, because it's never worth more than a five-minute or a long line. I think it's worth... I think it's worth about a 15-minute line. I would wait 10 minutes, probably, or less. My opinion, at least. I, I wouldn't go out of my way to ride it if it's, like, 15 minutes or 20 Anyway, minutes. so does anybody have any other discussions or topics? i got to wrap this up. Um, I think it's good. I'm good. All right, so uh, thanks for watching. Um, check out our latest video, the King's Dominion animation. Hyper animation and uh, check, and uh, we're also gonna have more of those, obviously. Um, and uh, anything else? Anybody else wants to say? Oh, um, should we implement that Q and A idea now? Okay, we can do that. Yeah. So we're gonna implement a Q and A thing where uh, you guys can ask questions in the comments of this video and we'll answer it in the next of talking pearls and it'll be at the either the beginning or the end. So yeah. Right. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching and uh, that's it for everybody. All right. Um, well, uh, see you next time and uh, hope, hope, hope everybody enjoys the Shutter show. I think the last show went on for long 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 time but it was uh, like long. almost two hours yeah, yeah. it's hour 45 all right well thanks for watching and uh see ya next time <laughs>